Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject has to do with websites and portals, key parts of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll look at web content management and web standards. Web Content Management, or WCM, is a lot like content management in that it manages the integrity, revisions, and life cycle of information, except it specializes in content that's specifically destined for the web. The key features of WCM systems are the ability to design and organize websites to provide efficient and effective access to relevant and up-to-date content, the ability to control and prepare the content for publication, including orchestrating and controlling content evaluation and approval, before publication on the website, and the automation of key parts of the publishing process. Most systems today are designed to allow users with little knowledge of web programming or markup languages to create and manage website content with relative ease. Typically, they use a database to store page content, metadata, and other information assets that might be needed by the system, and administration is usually done through browser-based interfaces. WCM comes into play whether the site's intended to be used internally by organizational personnel, an intranet, externally by business partners and other outside but business critical parties, an extranet, or publicly on the web itself, on the internet. The web content being managed may be different, however. For instance, intranets are generally as secure as any inside resource, and in fact need not even connect to the outside internet at all. Informationally, they typically contain work content to help people do their day-to-day -day jobs, including accounting, IT, phone and email directories, and conference room scheduling. HR information, like benefits, employee newsletters, vacation requests, and training. Corporate material, including annual reports, governance, and press releases. And social content, such as regarding social events, company sports, and charitable activities. Extranets are also secured, but are open for use by trusted external entities like distribution channel partners and critical suppliers. They typically contain content, like virtual meeting rooms in which joint project teams can share documents, make comments, ask questions, etc., product catalogs for reference by sales partners, and procurement pages to facilitate customer ordering and account status review. Internet sites, in contrast to the other two, are accessible to the general public though they may have protected areas for customers and subscribers to use for self-service purposes. Information found here can encompass a little bit of everything, including organizational background information, service offerings, product specs, blogs, financials, and perhaps most importantly for marketing reasons, contact info. As is the case with other information management systems, not every WCM solution provides the same functions as every other, or the same level of depth. So depending upon what you need and what you anticipate needing in the time ahead, it's smart to consider the alternatives in terms of how different capabilities can be activated or added later on. Among these are configuration, the ability to turn built-in features on and off universally or selectively by changing administrative settings, extension, the ability to install modules of new functionality to the original solution as when plugging new capabilities into an application platform, Customization, the ability to take what you've given and programmatically form-fit it to your specification via supplied or purchased toolkits or application programming interfaces. And integration, which is the ability to tie the WCM solution to others that have already been installed, either programmatically or by leveraging interoperability methods like web services. Talking about web services brings us into the realm of web standards without which ready interoperability, and even the web as we know it, would not exist. Generally speaking, 
Web Standards compliance relates to a website's or page's officially correct use of HTML and XHTML for page construction, CSS style sheets, and JavaScript for interactivity. Full standard compliance also encompasses the use of valid character encoding, RSS or Atom news feeds, RDF, metadata, XML, object embedding, script embedding, browser and resolution independent codes, and server settings. Foundational publications governing these and other attributes cover the likes of proper use of HTTP and MIME to deliver pages, return data from them, and request other resources referenced based on the IETF's RFC 2616, properly formed names and addresses for pages and all other resources referenced from it, called URIs, based on the IETF's RFC 2396, Recommendations for Document Object Models, DOM, from the W3C. Web Content Accessibility Guidelines from the W3C's Web Accessibility Initiative. And Semantic Web Work at the W3C related to the Resource Description Framework, that's the RDF. Gleaning Resource Descriptions from Dialects of Languages, GRDDL, and Web Ontology Language, OWL. This module has looked into web content management and web standards. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the module on web content management tools. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.